boys what is going on welcome everybody back to another video so it's currently 1 40 p.m uh that this came out at 5 a.m so i am very very late i know but it's better than late late than never today we're going to be doing an objectives guide on the william carvalho i believe it is and i can't even see his full name i do not know why the card is glitched out if it's like this for anyone else could be on ea side it could be on my side i've got literally no clue but he is invisible right now so I, I don't know but boys if you guys are new to the series we're gonna look over these objectives and we are going to build a squad builder and give you guys my tips on how to complete them now first of all this looks like you can complete this card in both squad battles or rivals which is brilliant EA have gone ahead and given you the option to do so so starting off assist 10 goals with through balls in squad battles on at least professional difficulty doesn't have to be in separate matches so easy you can just face a lower rated team and just give the through balls done like that with the CDM and three separate squad battle matches. Now I have had people ask me about this. All you have to do with this is they have to be starting as a CDM. They cannot be a centre mid played at CDM in game. They have to going into a game be played as a CDM. I'm not sure if you can play a CDM in, in cam like on five chemistry and have it count, but I know for a fact you can have a CDM, start him in a CDM position, and you can move him up to strike it in game, and it, that will count as a CDM. So I do know that for a fact. And we have got score using La Liga players in six separate squad battle wins on at least world class difficulty or division rivals. Honestly. Rivals is going to be, I would say Rivals is easier, or not, I mean harder, but Rivals would be faster, but the thing is, if you lose a Rivals game, it doesn't count, and if no one quits for you, it won't count, and not much people even quit Division Rivals anymore, so honestly, Rivals is more fun, Squad Battles is much more boring, but it's much more guaranteed, it's much quicker, and it's much easier, so I'd honestly go down the Squad Battles route, now score using Portuguese players in 10 separate Squad Battle matches on at least professional difficulty, so you need Portugal, you need La Liga, what it looks like, is you need just some Portugal, Portuguese, La Liga players. And obviously, like I said, if you guys don't know, search your club for players. Like if you've got a Jao Felix player of the month, then that is perfect. If you have held on to him all this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a team between 15 and 25,000 coins. Which is all, what we always do. We build a little squad builder for those of you guys that do not have much La Liga players in your club. Let's get into it, boys. Boys, this is simple. This is a team that we have completed. It will come in at around 20 thousand coins which is incredibly cheap uh, obviously we've got Xiao Felix we've got Zuck and we have got at left mid Guedes we've got Torreira and this dude as a CDMs surprisingly this is actually the second fastest CDM in the La Liga um, gold rare that is because the next highest is like an 83 and then an 89 Casemiro or 87 Busquets so we have got a pairing of Torreira and this dude here which I mean honestly Torreira will be incredible in game Rodrigo at right mid you've got Kappa at right back We've got this Ruben and Viso dude at centre back who is so underrated. I remember using him all the time in managerial masterpiece. He's got some solid play, uh, some solid pace, some solid defending, some solid physical. He is incredible. And Nip will just go on with massive. And honestly, I I'll probably not advise using him. Five foot eleven. No, uh, actually no. He is five foot eleven, which will be a pain. But he has, has the same sort of feet trait, which is all right. But I honestly, I just picked him because why not? But there are so much other goalkeeper options. So check your club. You may have maybe like an A tour lying around, the eighty three rated, or something like that. Now at left centre back, it is going to be Deshine, who I mean, once again, I cannot vouch for enough. Medium high work crates, four star weak foot okay pace defending and physical is incredible and at left back we have gone for Renan Lodi now I don't know he might be in team of the season I could be wrong but he might be in tot so I'm going to check how much he is is he up to, yeah okay that's a problem that is a problem you probably want to go for another left back 3.8k but once again you can sell them straight after so boys the first tip is obviously with this team now if you guys do remember you just got to score with the Liga players and score with Portuguese players. So what you're going to want to do is simply score with Jahal Felix, uh, score with Guedes in at least one match. And uh, like I said, it has to be on at least world-class difficulty sometimes. That is a problem. Um, I think some objectives are professional, some are world-class. But with these two CDMs, you need the assists. You need 10 assists with through balls as well. But the thing is, if you face an easy team on world-class difficulty, you can beat it 10, 15, nil, no problem. Obviously, if you are good enough to do so. So like I said, you obviously just want to 
would get the assist with Torreira, with a through ball preferably, or obviously the CDM here. Assist with the CDMs only in three separate matches, but other than that, you want to target the Portuguese players, you want to target the La Liga players, uh, obviously, which is the Portuguese players, and you want to assist with through ball. So if you're about to sweep it across goal, instead of passing, normally just press triangle to do the through ball, because then it will count and it's easy. So boys, the second tip is literally just going to be the bench. There is no restrictions on what you can have on your bench, so you can have literally your full team. Once again, I don't know why my players are glitching out, but I could have Rota Final Hazard, I could have my prime moments Vieira, my prime, prime moments Pele all on a bench if I wanted to, and I could sub them, say, Pele on for Isaac if I wanted to. But boys, this is the best team you guys can use, and like I said, we'll go over it again, we'll have another look at the objectives, and then I'll show you guys my last and final tip, which is absolutely, like it's a lifesaver if you guys didn't know. So, like I said, the assist 10 goals are through balls. If you can do that with anyone, do that whether you assist it with Cancelo, or sorry, not Cancelo, with Felix, whether you assist it with Zark, just obviously, sweet it. if you do sweet it across goal, may as well just through ball it, why not? Uh, assist with a CDM, so Torreira or that other shit dude. Score you what using La Liga players in six separate squad battle wins, which will easily come, because your whole team was La Liga, so you just got to score with one of them. And score using Portuguese player in ten separate matches. So it's going to take ten separate matches, and like I said, in squad battles, that is boring, that's roughly a free and a half three hour grind um it was each game like 13 minutes 14 minutes long so it's a big grind but like i said chuck a netflix film on and you get i believe is he an 89 or 90 rated card i can't even see you because ea are frauds but boys after that, the final tip and the most important tip is just going to be the squad battle refreshing. So as you can see here, you usually get given two shitty teams, sometimes only one, but a 65 rating with 34 chem, 67 rating with 48 chem. Go ahead, flick that on world class difficulty, and let's just say we want to go on world class difficulty. You play this match, and as soon as as you are finished with this game or both the shitty games you'll be left with the two expensive or the expensive the good teams 87 rating with a prime r9 and on world class difficulty even i'll struggle with that so what you want to do is you just want to press a square to update opponents confirm and it will give you a whole new bunch of players or a whole new bunch of teams so after you've played all the shit teams on one selection you can just refresh it so you can keep doing that and keep getting the easy games and after you play all 40 games or after you you refresh all 40 games games will still count towards your objectives but you will not get points from squad battles for that so you may be able to still maybe clutch up some rank uh, some silver one gold free rewards because in a week's time you got what what would that be in a week's time you get a 15k and a 12 and a half k pack for basically just just on the side just saying like you know there you go which is not bad at all boys so hopefully this did help you out let me know down below if you have any other questions it's been your boy davis sub if you're new and until next time peace out lads